Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm an American living in Koh Samui, Thailand for the last nine years. My husband, Wat, is Thai, and we have two boys, Luke and Leon, with one more on the way, plus our nanny, Nam, who helps hold it all together. A few weeks ago, I left Thailand to visit family in the USA. This is my life. Good morning. Time for breakfast. I have a beach and need sunscreen. You need what? I need sunscreen. Sunscreen? And then there's a sun bun. But you've never worn shady. sunscreen in your whole he life. He doesn't want to get sunburned, Mama. Put your towel out. Save your spot. Thanks. Oh, you're so good. So you can see where people lay their towels out here. They come early. They come early. You have to come early to reserve your spot. I think Luke's gonna learn how to swim today. He is. We're gonna throw him in. Come on, sit down. Oh, look, avocado toast. I think Luke needs some sunglasses. <laughs> Sun. Yeah, sit with me. Luke got. Look at his face. This is very special bread, Luke, for a very special boy. Look at that thing. Show me what you have. Tell me, is it as good as Koh Samui? What is that? White bread. Oh, look at this. Look, apple pie. Is it cream in there? Uh, I think I'm okay. Take your turn. What's in there? Apple custard. It's good too. It's like a vanilla custard. It's really good. Mm, there's really thick vanilla pastry cream in there. It's like a brioche with sugar on top. That looks delicious. <laughs> No, I don't like it money at all. We're gonna go to this island out here. This is called Koh Samui Island. This Thailand. Is We're going to Thailand. It's sunny, but it's still kind of cool. Like, it's not hot. It's not humid like Thailand. It's dry. Just a quick word from our sponsor. Thank you so much Surfshark for continuing to support my channel Lily's Expat Life. Surfshark is a VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it works by encrypting all of the information sent between your computer and the internet so no one can steal your personal data. So if you're accessing the internet via a public Wi-Fi network like an airport, a hotel, or a cafe, by using Surfshark, you will be protected from anyone who has also tapped into that network in order to steal your personal information. I would highly recommend investing in a VPN if you plan on taking a trip anywhere, a vacation, because the last thing you want to deal with is someone stealing your bank account or credit card information. On top of protecting your privacy, my favorite feature is that it also allows you to change your virtual location to anywhere in the world. That means when I log into Netflix, I change my virtual location from right now Mexico to the United States so I can gain access to all of my favorite TV shows and series and movies. And when Luke watches Netflix, we log into locations in Thailand so he can keep up on his Thai language. Say Sawadee Kap. Say Kap Kun Kap. Kap Kun Kap. Surfshark is one of the best VPNs on the market because not only is it so easy to use, it is one of the only ones that allows you to use unlimited devices for one account. 
So I suggest signing up for Surfshark today. You will be doing yourself, your family, your children a favor. You can use my code expatlife and get 83% off plus the first four months for free. Wow, that is such a good deal. And there's a 30 day free trial, so there is no risk in trying it out. Just click the link in the description box below. Back to our program. Up to the room for a little bit to edit these videos because they don't ed edit themselves, that's for sure. I'm finished, so I'm in a good mood. And we're gonna get something to eat. Maybe a taco. Maybe. <laughs> I know what you're gonna have something with avocado. Guacamole, baby. <laughs> Maybe two more, but me right now three. I like how they have an open kitchen here. Guacamole every day since we've been here. The best one was in Cabo San Lucas. I love how they have this layer of crispy grilled cheese on the inside. So I'm treating myself, I'm gonna get my hair washed and blowed dry. Wow, it's really beautiful in here. and ready to conquer the day. So Luke had fun? He did, he went down the slide and he went so fast, his eyes were like saucers. <laughs> Get fun with grandpa down the slide? Get fun with his children? Come on, let's go. Look, someone gave you some sunscreen, that little girl who you're playing with yesterday. I'm gonna use it, I need it. You don't really need it, but you can use it anyway. Yeah, let's go. Did you swim? That's not why. It's because you said that you don't even like the sea or the I ocean. I don't normally get in it, so I wanted to get my. How feet can you in not it. like? That's life I don't right like there. To have salt on me. That's why. Well, you just take a shower right after. I love the sea. I love it in Thailand. Right at 5:30, 5 o'clock, when the sun is setting and the water is so warm. So let's get a photo of the Christmas tree. Let's wait for it to be lit up, you think? Or maybe we just get it anyway. Look, do you see these flowers? These are special Christmas flowers. They don't have them in Thailand. They're called poinsettias. That's a photo. They're native of Mexico, I think. Ready to go? We're ready. We are ready. We're going back to this downtown South. San Jose del Cabo. I think I said it right this time. We were there last night for that street market and now we're checking it out again for something to eat, souvenirs. Who knows what we'll find. Come on, there's your cheese. You want one? <laughs> it looks like some Christmas festival. Does that look like a Christmas festival to you? <laughs> that dog is gonna nibble on your toes.
did they go? What are you getting? Oh, you're buying coffee? Yeah, you can't find coffee anywhere. I love the architecture and all the different colors of Mexico. It's just so colorful. It feeds my soul. Okay, Luke, you tell me where you want to go. Is this a Christmas show, Luke? That's not food. It's candy. You hate candy. Not... Hey, you better uh, stop that right um, now. No Don't ever do that to mommy. Like <laughs> what do you have? I'm gonna bite your toes, Luke. So Mom and George found this restaurant. <laughs> What's this restaurant called? Panacea. Panacea. Mm -hmm. yes. Hey, turn it. You're gonna have to <clears throat> turn that off. There you go. Grandpa can only take so much. Yeah. Dumplings, salads. This good? restaurant is Asian Mexican fusion. We're really excited to try it. And they've recommended us some good stuff for us. Yeah. <laughs> this is different and delicious. Do you like it spicy or not? Medium. George doesn't like it spicy. I don't like it too spicy, but not too spicy. Not She's crazy spicy. No, not yeah. Thai. Yeah. I'm from Thailand. It's really yeah. spicy there. Yeah. So I don't think yeah, it'll be. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, Daddy's <laughs> like spicy, Luke said. Daddy like spicy? Yeah. <laughs> curry de marisca, seafood coconut yellow curry. They even have pad thai. You can definitely tell that the owner of this restaurant knows good food, just the way this menu is written, and he's probably been to Thailand. Yeah, what are you saying? So I like red yellow. And we got Luke some pork fried rice. Yeah? And a toy. And a toy. White rice, pork, chicken, shrimp, vegetable combo. I think it's fried rice. We'll see what type of rice it is. Is the owner of this restaurant, is he Mexican? He's Mexican. Yeah, yeah. it's like a fusion. The Mexican okay. Okay. nation. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. So we got the foie gras nigiri. Yep. Wrapped in seaweed with marinated sweet soy shrimp, torch foie gras, and a spicy miso sauce. Those look so pretty. Come These on, are the on, crab wontons. Wow. Yeah. Chicharron prensada with a green chili sauce. It's avocado and poblano sauce with chili oil on top. Okay. Yeah. Try one? Yeah, let's Enjoy. dig in. Thank you. Thank you. What time? No, no, should I put this whole wonton on my mouth? Go ahead. It's it. so big. Mm. I love how smoky that is. No, the one the rice. That's your rice, Luke. This is the crab, crab wonton. wonton. With shiitake mushroom. And what's yours like? Is it like Thailand? This is kind of slimy. Mm. It's spicy. It's very spicy. Mm. There's a lot of Indian flavor, almost like a cumin in that yellow, yeah, it's a light different. yellow curry sauce. That was too strong. Mm. Now for the foie gras. Mm. That's an incredible dish. Salsa verde. 
sushi fish. You're sushi right. Fish. It's sushi fish. You want some? No. Look at the menu and see what that is. <laughs> He's on your sushi. No, yeah. I don't actually. <laughs> I know. I like it with rice and avocado and all that. No, well, well I didn't realize this was going to be raw fish, and I'm pregnant, so I should probably not eat. So, mom, George doesn't eat raw fish, so it's all to mom to finish this. I'm not. Mm -hmm. All right, here I go. You ready? Really good. It's a velvety mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tender, spicy, limey, really good. I'm gonna say this. This is a meal. Hey, that's bean sprouts. You like those? You eat those in Thailand. That's what's in Pad Thai in Thailand. It's too. Spicy. I'm enjoying how this food is spicy, but not overwhelmingly spicy. Perfect for the Western palate. <laughs> Tacos with pork jowl. Mm. Tastes of sweet boy sand sauce, crunchy cabbage, a little bit of cilantro. Mm. It's sweet, it's smoky, it's a little bit spicy, it's so good. Look at oh that. Oh my goodness. That's not for Luke. That's what is that? Look how beautiful that is. Luke, you be the taster. Ooh. They had chocolate cake or sticky rice. So of course, <laughs> I got chocolate cake. <clears throat> you were good sticky I rice. Would. I love mango <laughs> sticky rice. But they didn't say mango sticky rice, they and just I'm said not, sticky rice. I only like it with mangoes in Thailand. We're all gonna take a bite see. It's fudgy. It's happy now. He's a sweet eater. I don't think he's sweet. I'm not going to let us forget this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> that is, it was so good. It has one layer that's crunchy, then one layer that's cakey, fudgy, and then the chocolate mousse, and then the chocolate ganache. Wow. I think the first one was really good. You want to order that? Super duper yummy. Say it louder. Super duper yummy. <laughs> so we arrived at like the older town square where there's more families and older people and this place is like this street is super swanky young people bars nightlife live music This is kind of like a Mexican Hoi An, Hoi An Vietnam. <laughs> Did he say the suitcases are not here? Our suitcases aren't here. They're this is not our hotel. hotel. This is so beautiful, right? Yeah. This is where I want to stay next time. This coffered bar, what's not coffered, but it's a curved ceiling. This is one of the most beautiful towns I've ever been to. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, the bell button for notifications, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you all.